Steamforge Games has just released the digital version of the Sunless City rulebook as well as the encounter, event and mimic cards that will allow players to use the original Dark Souls board game enemies, tiles and bosses with the new core set's updated rules. Today we will go to the details of the new encounter and event cards and how to adapt those cards and the mimic from the Explorers expansion if you have the vanilla sets. Hi, my name is Nick and we are Tabletop Duo, so grab your favorite drink and let's start. I'm going to start by showing how to access the digital version of the new rulebook and cards. They can be found by going to the Steamforged Games website, then clicking on the Resources tab. Then just select the Dark Souls board game section off the left side, and you should be able to see the Sunless City official rulebook right away. For the event, mimic and encounter cards, just keep scrolling down. They can be found on the downloadable card section. If you click on one of the downloadable card files, you have both the front and the back of each card. I've also added the links on this video's description to make it easy for you to find them. Before I go into how to set up your vanilla game, I want to give a quick overview of the gameplay with the new rules. On the campaign board, you will track your progress through 10 encounters. The first three are level 1, followed by 3 level 2, with a mini boss in between them, followed by two level 3 encounters, ending with the main boss encounter. The new encounters contain special objectives and rules, sometimes going through multiple tiles. There's a steady flow of treasures when you finish them, or when you open chests, and some encounters reward the players with shortcuts, so when you visit the bonfire and you come back, you don't have to start on the first encounter again. There are also event cards as well that will either give you bonuses or affect the next encounter, or even refresh your character's abilities and are a pretty cool addition to the game. For the Mimic, this monster is used whenever the encounter has the Mimic keyword in it. If a player opens a chest during that encounter, there is a chance the Mimic will appear. Also, the updated Mimic rules make it a regular enemy rather than a mini boss type. Bosses will play exactly like before. Now that I've given you an overview, let's go to the details of setting up the game. If you have the Tomb of Giants or the Painted World of Ariami sets, you will be using pretty much all the components except for the encounter, event cards, enemies, bosses, and their treasure cards, and also the double-sided game tiles. From the vanilla set, you will get all the enemies and bosses, with exception of the large hollow monster. You will also be getting their data, behavior cards, and boss treasure cards. From the Explorers expansion, you will take the Mimic and the chest cards. If you don't have the core set nor the Explorers expansion, just take the vanilla game and all of its components, then print all the encounter, event, and mimic cards from the links that we have given to you. We will use the large hollow model as the mimic since this monster is not going to be used on the Sunless City. Take some random tokens or simply print the rulebook page that showcases the new tokens used on the core sets and then add them on your components. Whether you have the core set or not, take a random token to represent the Fangboard token and two to represent the Mimic token. You can also print them from the rulebook. Now that you have all the components, the next part of the setup can be found on our How to Play the Tomb of Giants core set by clicking on the link above here or by clicking on the link in this video's description. If you don't have the campaign board from one of the core sets, you can try to just display the elements uh, as if you had one or you can just draw one and then put the cards on it. Once the setup is done, you can follow the video I previously mentioned to learn how to play this new version. The video goes into the details for every single rule for the new core set. There are also a few new things exclusive to the Sunless City, so I will cover those unique cases for the next few minutes. If the encounter has the Fangbor icon, just place the Fangbor token on the corresponding node. What the Fang board do is that at the end of each character's turn, you must move it one node towards the character with the aggro token. If the board moves onto the same node as the character, that character suffers stagger and it's also pushed. You can't defeat the board and you can't also dodge its effects, but the board cannot move from one tile to another. Now for the special rules, there are a few unique keywords to the Sunless City, so we're gonna go through them. If your encounter card has the gang keyword, if a character is attacked by a hollow enemy and another hollow enemy is within one node of that character, you increase the attacking monster's damage and dodge difficulty by one when you're resolving the attack. If the card has the mimic keyword, if you open a chest in the encounter, you have to shuffle the chest deck and draw a card. If you draw a blank card, it's all good, but if you draw the card with the mimic, you replace the chest with the mimic model and you pick up its data card. 
The Mimic behaves just like a normal monster. And if the card has the Illusion keyword, when you do the setup, place only tile number 1, then you shuffle one doorway trap token and four trap tokens with the damage values, and you place those tokens on the highlighted nodes on the encounter card. If a character moves onto a node with the token, you flip it and you resolve the effects normally if the token has damage value. If the token is a doorway, you place the next tile as shown on the encounter card and you place the character on the doorway node on the next tile. If the next tile also contains highlighted nodes, you just repeat the same steps. I hope the video gave you all the means to adapt your vanilla board game with the new core set rules and if not, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!